High kill wins require fast pacing and it starts with where you land. I like to go prison, get a gun, and get right into the action. So I immediately decide to go down low on the other side of the building to try to catch that team by surprise. So with that gunfight, they actually gave away their position on the minimap with the airstrike. And when I realized it was two guys, I used a little bit of movement misdirection to get the second guy to push me. So I finish looting up in prison and rotate to control center to get my loadout. And I often make this rotation because this is another busy part of the map. And remember, for high kill gains, it's all about your pacing. Which is why I push in here without my loadout. Let's see what the kid's made of. I can see on my mini-map that there's two players nearby, but I drop down because I want to plate up and reload my SMG before getting back into the fight. got away with it didn't you so i caught really weird timing with that second guy because i didn't hear his footsteps at all and after that i didn't really have many options because i couldn't reload my smg but hey it's rebirth island so i decided to go in for round two hello there I don't like to chase people using the same route that they took, so I go the other way here. I definitely got great COD timing right there. Son, your ego is writing checks your body can't cash. Okay, so that was a really dumb ego challenge that I should not have taken. I should have played that much more patient. But dying early game is really not that big of a deal if your teammates stay up. So back into control center we go. So for this gunfight, I position myself behind this head glitch to make my hitbox really small to give myself the advantage when he pushes into the room. And this allows me to win the gunfight. And here I'm just getting the full from the first guy up top. So because I don't overcommit past the corner, I'm prepared for the second teammate that I didn't see, and when I see the first guy rushing me, I jump back past the corner and past his aim, which lets me get an easy kill. But unfortunately, there's a third guy because it's Rebirth Island, and well... Okay, so deaths are going to happen in Resurgence no matter how good of a player you are. The best thing you can do is not let it affect your mental and to keep playing aggressive. I'm going after the guy on top of prison because I really want to get control of this roof area before I rotate in. So I just do a quick peek here because I'm sure that guy has teammates, which he does, and unfortunately they're on some pretty nasty headies which I can't really challenge so I just rotate to grandma's. So I hear multiple people above me and I really need to fight this right now because I have a team on prison behind me and now a team above me and I don't want to get caught in between. And now as soon as I hear that res, I'm going to push this aggressively. So with the circle this small and so many teams left, 
I know I'm gonna have to try to make an early rotation down to circle to avoid getting held by another team. But first, I try to get another kill or two before I make the rotation. So that was a pretty aggressive play to drop down low like that, and because I'm being held by the guy on the roof, I realized I have to make a gas play. Okay, so with that buyback, I know there's a player down low and one in the air, and then I hear coughing over here. And I pretty much lose all aim assist there, and now it's a run for my life. So I catch awful timing there because I hear him as I'm mantling into the window. So I just pre-fire the door anticipating that he's going to push me. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next one.